Okay, we're gonna see what Babes is up to. What kind of, wow, you got fancy. You like that? I do. Okay. Let's see what he's created in his shop here. Okay, babes, show me what you're up to. All right. What do you got here? So the iPad fits right in there. Let's see. Okay. All right. This is adjustable. Okay. So you can turn it, lock it, okay. where you want it. Okay. Yeah. So let's pretend this right here is our item. A bunny. A bunny. A your bunny. little fuzzy bunny. Yep. Okay. But you're there for the bunny. Yep. But if you're going to put something big on here, like this vase. That's a beautiful vase. Yeah. It's like opalescent. So now we just pick this up, slide it back. And you can turn this to get whatever angle you want on here. You see? Yep. So we got all our angles. And we can move out. And we should be able to fit something, oh, close to 18 inches or so high. Okay. On here. Okay. And that's all you do is you just move it. Okay. And we got a little adjustment right here. And what's so, in this rod? What did, what did you do here? Oh, well, Tell okay. Tell me about this. This right here is called a linear bearing. Okay. Right here, it's got roller bearings inside of it. Okay. Okay, and this is just a stainless steel rod. This was machined out of a piece of aluminum. That's a piece of aluminum. This right here is called polypropylene. Okay. You see? Now, you're gonna this, make me another attachment yes. for my phone? Yes, this right here, we'll be able to make different attachments for, and all it is is just a machined out pocket. Yeah. That your iPad slips right into like that. That's all it does. Yep. It just slips right in there. So your parts will spin like that and it'll be the center of it. And if I wanted to do a postcard or some sort of <coughs> ephemera, put that yep. on there, then I can angle it. You can angle it down. Yep. Well, you, you'll be able to adjust in on it. There yeah. you go. Yep. Neat. Coolest babes ever. Yep. The Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States. Not for sale. Not for sale. <laughs> Mine. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So, this guy, this you're just, oh, you're just tipping it. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's just, easy. Yeah, you're just tipping it. And the, what does oh. that screw do? The, this, this is your lock right here. Okay. So you loosen that, you can bend it, and tighten it back up. Very nice. And again, like I said, this screw right here, this, this yep. right here, um, as it sits on this bar, it's hitting this bar. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna drill tiny little pockets up and down. Oh, okay. Up and down this this right here. Gotcha. So like every inch, every yep. inch, you'll have a, a tiny little. Hole. Okay, more stuff came out. What yeah. is this? Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be the bolt pattern for this plate. Okay. And this plate will have the gears. Okay. And the okay. gears are going to make it rotate. Yes. So this right here is going to be the the part that rotates. Mm -hmm. And underneath here, that's what this bolt pattern is. We're going to bolt a little gear motor on there. So, and the gear motor is going to turn. This will turn six RPMs a minute. And this is a two to one gear ratio. So the, the turntable itself is going to turn three, three RPMs a minute. Okay. Cool. So what I'm going to do is drill the bolt pattern in it. This will have a bronze bushing in it. Mm -hmm. You know. And then my my vintage wooden turntable. Yes, is it's going to sit, sit on, on top. There. Yes, it's going to have a Got shaft it. shaft down through the center of your your turntable. This is pretty cool. So again, this is polypropylene. Pop, polypropylene. Polypropylene. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Cutting cutting board material. Oh. It's okay. the same thing as a cutting board. A lot of cutting boards. Okay. So. The top of this uh, turntable is going to be covered with polypropylene. Okay. Nice. And I'm going to cut a hole out, and then that's what these four holes are for is to bolt this plate on. Okay. From underneath. So when you take your turntable off, you're going to see your you're going to see these little gears. Mm-hmm. You're going to see those little gears inside of there. Nice. And again, the polypropylene is one inch thick. These are seven eighths thick. So. They'll be just below, just below the surface of the polypropylene. You're so cool, babes. Mm -hmm.
So here's the camera holder yep. with the slide. Yep. It's got all the little pockets up and down the side, like yep. we were talking about. Mm -hmm. So you just set that in there. Put okay. It right? Here's your turntable. Okay. Now, the other thing is, too, is I made this bracket so you can turn this lifter up or down. Nice. Okay. And we got a switch here to turn the turntable on and off. I'm going to switch this out so we have a USB port. Yep. So that the yes. tablet or the so phone you, can charge. Right. Exactly. Now, the problem I had is the first motor we got, a little gear motor from Granger's. Yeah. Um, was going to turn this turntable three RPMs, mm -hmm. three, three turns per minute. But the motor was making a lot of noise. I think it was defected. Yes. But it got then, hot. Got hot. Uh -huh. Very hot. So then I found this little gear motor at my work. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a reversible motor. It runs 15 RPMs, but it is like super, super quiet. Now let's see if this thing is plugged in. See? You can't even hear that running. You can see if you can see it. Let's put it on the shaft. See the shaft? Totally quiet. Yeah. So what's this? Okay. What's this thing for? This, this bar here, this is going to be of the light rack. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Now, if you look over here, I got these clamps, which has a hole through them, and I can mount. And I'm going to cut this down, but I can screw a plate to it. These are magnetic, so they go right on there like that. Freaking genius. And then we could tilt them and get the light where we want them, slide them, like I say, where we want them yep. on here. Okay, yep. so that this is it, it's going to serve two purposes: our light rack, but then we're also going to have a curtain. We're, I'm going to get a couple more of these here. Yep. The hold across here, so we can have a curtain rod. Yep. Going across the back to drop for our back backstop. For our backstop backdrop. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Now, like I said, I took our turntable. I made a little bracket. Whoops, with a shaft. Going through here. Now this little pin here is what drives the gear. Okay. Okay, you see the gear has a little hole? Yep. So it slides on here. It locks it. A little easier than doing a keyway or a set screw. And you never have to worry about that about that uh set screw coming loose. Gotcha. So that's how that works. Okay. Now, I took the motor out. Mm hmm Yeah, bad motor. Bad motor, but we're going to put a new motor. Underneath. Again. Originally, the plan was is the motor was bolted on here, mm -hmm. and the shaft came up through here. Mm hmm It had a little gear on here, which was like this. And, and like I said, the motor had six RPMs. This is... Uh, uh, a two to one ratio. So six turns of this equals two turns of, or three turns of that. Okay, so now so, with the new motor. With the new motor, this is 15 RPMs. So to get back down to three RPMs, cause that's what we figured out is a good rotation. Mm -hmm. Super I, slow. Super slow. I got to do a different gear ratio of four to one. So I got to have a, a, a bigger gear here and a smaller gear there. So that it, you know, which is obviously going to probably move where this goes. So this, mm -hmm. this plate, I'm going to have to make a new one. Let's take a look underneath here. <coughs> so that's all that, that's all that plate is. And it's just held on with a four screws I made a branch coming down so you had two bearings one here and one down here that's all that is so I'll reuse this part all this stuff yeah I just have to remake this plate and you have to remake that plate longer because of the new way we're doing the motor right maybe I don't know we'll, we'll figure it out okay I'll get I'll get all that stuff first so and this was just all wood that we had laying around well, so far, I really got, we haven't. We got wood laying yeah, around. So far, I really <laughs> haven't spent a lot of money on there. Um, made up some uh, little brackets here on the side. I don't know if you see that. Mm -hmm. the, these are called uh, they're called butt connectors. 
for conduit because this is just conduit pipe. You said butt. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. So I took some butt cut connectors. I drilled it out so that it goes all the way through. Cool. Yeah. And then just bent a couple little pieces, tack welded them on there. And so they screw onto the side. Nice. So that's, that's where we're at right now. So one of the things that I haven't really talked about in any of my videos is the stuff that I did before I went through this house and I was building um, a wood shop workshop, which is where we are. I mean, it's pretty packed right now, but yeah. I, uh, I restore vintage Singer sewing machines. Well, I did. I haven't, I haven't touched any of... I gotta show them my favorite one. Oh, your little... <laughs> yeah, so I would like to get back to this world because this, this is... This is mine. That's your favorite one? This is my favorite one. This thing is so flipping cute. Yes, that's a very old one. Yeah. I love the little... Little connecting rod on the back. Mm-hmm. You know, as... Somebody that's an engineer, I look at this and I got a lot of respect for yeah, uh, the ingenuity. Yeah, somebody this. Mm-hmm. Because that, yeah. uh, that machine, I think that's a Singer number 12. Yeah. Turn it around to the front, babe. Yeah. That's a Singer number 12. It's in very, very rough shape, but that was originally in a three-quarter size treadle cabinet and only worked... As a treadle machine and this machine does chain stitching yep. kind of like the kind of like the thing that you pull on the top of dog food or cat food it doesn't have um you know it just it just pulls out yep. so it's not like a traditional stitch machine yeah but yeah so our next idea with the motor we decided to take a uh, sewing machine belt instead of gears instead of gears and we took apart, took one of the pieces off of the sewing machine motor. And we which are. Which is perfect quarter inch. Yeah, so we're gonna use. Yeah, and it's got a, a set screw flat spot. Fit right on the motor. Yep. Okay, it'll fit right on the motor. Yep. And instead of gear to gear, we're gonna go with a belt. Yep. Belt timing on here. Which so, will control, it'll make a less work for the motor too. Yeah, and it'll be quiet, you know. Gear, gears quiet. make noise. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if we're, using, if we're using a set of gears, even though when I did this, I left the, go the gears a little bit loose. Mm-hmm. A little loose, you know, if they're tight, they, they'll definitely make noise. Yeah. So, I mean, if you left them just a little loose. Yep. It's, they're not so noisy. Yep. But I just think. With, I like with, that with, we with, hardly with, spent anything to yeah, make right. this. Yeah, right. Yeah. And uh, far as the other pulley goes, you know, being a machinist, I, obviously I can make it because it doesn't exist. Sure. You know, it's. You can think it up. I can think it up. Because yeah. my babes is smart. Oh, uh, yep. Make it in a lathe. And, and again, this is rubbery. Yeah. So. I think it'll definitely have enough traction to to turn it. And we're going so slow, it's, you know, the RPMs of it. That's it's, freaking it's awesome. A, I'm excited. Yeah. But, yeah, this is uh, this is not my mom's house where we are now. So this is, uh, this is my workshop. This is home. Yep, this is home. And uh, this is where Babes occupies himself <laughs> <laughs> when I'm doing goofy things on video. Yeah. But that this is another update and then as soon as he uh he makes his next modifications we'll add to it. And then once this is done we'll post it as one video. Okay. Babe says that his contraption is ready. We got our lights up here. Yeah. These here. We're just gonna use magnetic lights. Yep. Stick them on here. And we can turn them, bring them, whatever angle we want. Yep. This rod right here is going to be our curtain rod. Yep. So we can drape, drape down behind it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Now, obviously, y'all, you saw that. Yep, we saw now, all that and the little switch. Right, well, let's take the two table off of here. Okay, so we changed this. Yeah. Okay, well, we had, this was the old motor mount. Yep. So I made a new one, put a new new bolt pattern in it for the new motor. Yep. And we switched from gears to pulleys. And uh, we had this one, and this one here I made in a lathe out of steel. Same thing, uses a pin to locate it. Mm -hmm. So we just put this belt on here. Sewing machine belt. Sewing machine belt. <laughs> yep, didn't really didn't really cost anything but it's stretchy yep and then what we do is we got our pin we'll put this down through here and then there it's locked into place and, okay. and there we go it's on and it's silent you can't even hear it can't can't even yeah, all right show me what's under show me the underbelly you want to see what's under it yeah now, so here's the new motor. Mm -hmm. Now, for you electricians out there, you're seeing this capacitor here. Don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put electric box in here, a junction box. Yeah. And bury all this wiring because that's a capacitor, and anybody that knows electricity knows that a capacitor holds a charge. And you know, I don't want anybody to get shocked by that. So. Yeah. I'm not, but everything I'm is. I'm not gonna put my fingers yeah, in there. Yeah, no, this. But you were able to reuse everything you I made. I was able. I was able to reuse this part here, mm -hmm. this and this. You know, with the bushings, I popped yep. the bushings out. So I mean, it's really, it's actually very simple. A very simple little deal. So, so cool. I can turn it on right there. You see and it turning right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. So this is just a half inch shaft. These bushings, they're I uh, used what's called oil light bushings. And what an oil light bushing is, is uh, when they get hot, they sweat oil. Nice. So you, you never have to lubricate them. So, like I said, if they ever get hot, they, they sweat oil. <clears throat> cool. So, so, like I say, we got, we got our two little light fixtures up here. Mm -hmm. We can turn them. You yeah. know, this is, this is just a conduit, electrical conduit. Real cheap. I mean, you can go to Home Depot and buy a length of that stuff for less than 10 bucks. So, you know, and these are obviously all the brackets you would use with electrical conduit. Mm hmm So, I mean, as of right now. And then when the iPad is in this yep, thing. Yep, iPad sits right in there. Put it up here. Yep. I'm going to put my phone in there. Yep. For the moment. Zoom right in. Now, obviously, we're gonna give this thing a good cleaning, but yeah. it looks rustic. I know you like that. I like it rustic. We'll put a door in there. Yeah. Everything will be happy. It's pretty awesome, babes. So. Okay. Now, what we got down here? So I switched out the plug, and we got USB ports, charging ports, right on this plug out, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, now here's our little switch for our turntable. Nice and quiet. Perfectly quiet. Uh-huh. Okay, and it shuts that off. Yep. Now, everybody saw the arm. Yep. That goes on here. Uh, our, our iPad fits right in there nicely. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, all you got to do is just slide her up or down. So you can zoom in on your nice little small items like that. Yep. Turn her on and she'll slowly spin for you. We are ready to do sales. We are ready to rock. So here's something a little taller. Now obviously, see, you can't see them all. Mm -hmm. So all we do is we just slide out to where we get a good view. Mm -hmm. And there he goes. Nice. Yeah, we can... Oops, that's a little tight, so we just loosen that. We can zoom in a little closer. Yep. That's not bad. How do you like that? I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm ready. 
We are ready to go. Let's do a live sale right now. <laughs> no, I should probably give people some notice. Yeah. But we're ready. Ready to go, folks. Like and subscribe so you can see our sales. Mm-hmm.